Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is episode 53 of the Sophie Art Podcast, which is a little podcast I do about art and things. And this one is going to be the first in an, the new format where I'm going to be taking a, ra- taking a random topic and just talking about it. So I've got, I've put like 40 different topics into one of my bags and they're all on little sheets of paper and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly go through this bag, pull out one of the topics and then talk about it for 15 minutes and I've set a little timer so when the, when the timer goes off at 15 minutes I'll have to stop, I'll, I've got to stop talking about it but also if I can't if I haven't got anything to talk about, I've got to t- keep talking. So this is this is kind of like I'm finding I'm going to use this as like a way of trying to improve spontaneity, <laughs> spontaneity, spontaneity. And some of these topics are quite scary. So, but the, there's a few rules. One of the rules is you have to talk for 15 minutes and you can't you can't stop. But when it gets to 15 minutes, you have to basically stop talking you're not allowed to change the topic and there was another rule as well but I've forgotten <laughs> but so I've wrote out a load of topics and then I put put them onto little slips so some of the topics are like talking about book books um, little art tips affirmations some of them are going to be like going onto my website and just talking about a diary entry or a blog post some of them are talking about looking in some of my notes like some of my study notes and talking about what I've learnt and stuff and same with life drawing class and then there's some like quite scary ones in there like taking off my because on the camera if because these podcasts are now on youtube at youtube.com slash sophie lawson and on the video, I'm pr- pretty much always wearing a hat, a scarf, a headband, or something like that. So one of the one of the little topics would be take off whatever you're wearing on your he- on your head and talk about your hair, because there there is like a anxiety about my hair. So that that's quite a scary one. And there's a couple other scary ones, and then there's some personal topics and stuff like that. So it's going to be quite. I've got no idea what's going to come out. There's also talking about inspirational people. But I think this would be quite interesting to see what happens. So that's what's going to happen on this episode. You can find show notes and everything at sophielawson.com. And I've also been putting up videos on YouTube at youtube.com slash sophielawson. I think the recent one was looking at another one of my sketchbooks where I just flick through my sketchbooks so that's that let's get into this week's topic then which is gonna be I've got my little little art tip gong which is gonna signify it's time to pick the topic (laughs) I'm a little bit scared this is why I'm doing it because it took me about 30 minutes to start this podcast because I've been scared to start it. I'm scared, but I'm excited. I'm excited because I, I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. But I'm scared because I don't know what I'm going to be talking about. <laughs> which is quite funny. And I think one of the topics should be talking about that feeling. Because what I've noticed is, if you get, every now and again you'll get this feeling where you're you're both scared and excited at the same time. And it's normally when you're doing something that you really want to do, but you're scared to do. So this is why I know that this new format is is the right thing to do because I'm getting that feeling. So let's jump into this week's topic, which is I'm, I'm going through the bag now, and I'm not looking. There's so many in here. I think there's about forty different topics at the moment. I got I got a lot more, but I wanted to try and keep it to the, so here it is. And I can see it's pink text, which means it's something to do with art, because I colour coded them as well. And this week's topic is 
look at your SVS Learn Creative Composition study notes and talk about them. So that's this week's topic. It's actually going to be quite interesting, I think. So I'm going to have to get. I'm just going to go and get my study notes, which are over here. And then what I have to do now is open up onto the composition, creative composition. And I've actually put all my notes into this little folder. And svslearn.com is. Well, let's start the timer. Bing. So we've got 15 minutes to talk about creative composition with Will Terry from svslearn.com and svslearn.com is a it's a website dedicated to teaching us how to improve our drawing and painting skills but a lot of it is about creating characters which is something I'm really wanting to learn but this one is the creative composition course and this one is actually there's a lot of notes for this one and there's a lot of I could talk probably for hours about this course but what the course is is it's about it's not so much about drawing it's about learning the skills of designing and composing a drawing so it could be a drawing a painting anything like that and what what I love about svslearn.com is the course the courses they also come with like handouts so you get these little with this one you get a checklist which i think is amazing and what it what it is is before you start drawing you go through this checklist and it basically means that you're going into the drawing fully prepared for what you're going to do so like the first thing it talks about concepting and it says to list objects characters write descriptions of the characters visualize the characters and then do some squiggly lines for like warming up and it's it's getting you thinking about camera angles and everything like that but each of these little options has got like a checklist so before you even get started you're you're prepared for what you're going to be doing and then it moves on to like thumbnails so it's got this whole big thing about thumbnails and the course talks about each of these things in, in more detail but this little sheet here what you want to do is keep it by the side of you so whenever you're starting a new drawing or painting you can just go through this little checklist and make sure <laughs> that you're like fully prepared and with the thumbnail when it talks about creating little squares so you're ready to go the rule of thirds and it's, it's just getting you thinking about how to create nice thumbnails so that if I go into the main the notes what I'm going to do so I've only I've only got 12 minutes now but like there's so many notes for this course I think the main thing I learned from this course is that it is really fun not just drawing but it's really fun just designing it's I would I would almost say it's I would maybe I would maybe say it's more it's not more fun, it's equal fun to be designing things. So on the video, I'll just quickly show some of the example thumbnails on the screen. But what it is, is it's just tiny little squares, like about the size of a stamp, like a tiny little stamp. And all you do is, with that checklist at the start, you're thinking about, so let's say I wanted to do a drawing of Lil Sophie, my little character, and I wanted her, say, climbing a tree what I could do is I could create a page of these like 30 40 little stamp sized squares or rectangles on a page and then I can just quickly really in like five ten seconds scribble out a little tree and try different compositions of this scene and you keep doing that until you look at one of these thumbnails and you think I, li I like that and then you turn that into a, a bigger sketch. But what they talk about doing is you don't you don't draw the sketch separately. You take that little thumbnail, which is now you've composed it really so it looks really nice. You basically blow that up. You can use it like digital or they talk about you can do it traditionally as well with like a light box and stuff. 
but I actually did it on Photoshop. So I, I, you take the little thumbnail, you blow it up so that you're keeping everything in the same size for the sketch. And then you just sketch on top of that thumbnail. <laughs> and then you start adding your colours and everything. But I love thumbnails. And I, you could just sit here. This, this course was probably... So far I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. So far I've done six courses at SVS Learn. I think this was the one where I produced the most stuff. And... I think it was the most fun. I, I definitely learnt the most. But it was also, in a strange way, it was also the hardest because I'd never really done anything like this before. So I'm just going to go through my notes and read some of the quotes. And one here that I loved is, Nature designs things beautifully. It said about how nature doesn't use straight lines. And it, they even start talking about like fractals and stuff like that. <laughs> it's quite amazing how everything starts to become linked together, really. But it started. This course started by by them Will Terry saying, "You never finish learning," which I love. And that's something else that I love about SVS Learn is you've got these masters teaching you, but as they're teaching you, they're also making mistakes. And that kind of nine minutes. <laughs> That kind of inspires you because you think, well, if these masters can make mistakes, then so can I. So that's because sometimes when you're when you're studying and stuff, you're afraid to make mistakes. But if the person teaching you is making mistakes, it sort of gives you permission to make mistakes. And I love that. And this is one of the reasons why I think I've stayed with SVS Learn, and I've been with them now for about six months. And I just love, I love the whole thing. But what is design? Design is, a, this is what I said. Because what I do is, when he, if, if they ever ask a question, I always pause the video and write what I think. And then I listen to what they say. So I said, design is about feeling. And then when I resumed the video, they said, design is about arranging things, organising things. And planning things so design a method to the madness this goes back to that nature thing is that nature is beautiful because it it looks absolutely like it's crazy madness but when you start looking into these fractals which is fractals are like the tiny little things that make up everything like on a tree you got the you got the tree branch but if you zoom in you'll notice that the tree branch is made up of what looks like little tree branches. And then those little tree branches are made up of even more littler tree branches. <laughs> and it just keeps going. But if you were to zoom right out, you'd probably see that all the trees were like copying it. So fractals are like this thing where... Because this kind of goes into what I think about we are inside of a virtual reality system. These fractals would be a way of storing lots of data simply because you only need to say you only need to have that one little fractal and you can replicate it to create anything but so when he says here about design and method to the madness it's like nature looks like it is just chaos but it's actually really it's it's got like um it's got like an intelligence behind it and that's why things look so beautiful i think so if I keep on with my notes, must start out with a good sketch. That's one of the quotes that I highlighted. If not, 90% won't be able to turn it around. In other words, this kind of goes what I said before. I did a podcast once about gesture drawing. And I said, I think gesture drawing, which is just like a little squiggly sketchy thing, just to capture the essence of what you're drawing. I said, I think... The gesture is more important than the quality of your drawing skills. But you do need the drawing skills. But the gesture, if the gesture feels right, if the gesture feels nice, the drawing's going to feel nice. If the gesture doesn't feel nice, but your drawing skills are amazing, it doesn't really matter because the drawing is still not going to feel. It's, it's going to be missing that something special. And this is what thumbnails are all about. 
thumbnail is all about capturing the essence of what you're trying capturing the essence of the scene there's a little bird outside the window <laughs> capturing the essence of the scene and, and capturing that feeling and then keeping it that's why you blow that thumbnail up into a bigger sketch and then that becomes the final drawing but if you've got that feeling in the thumbnail as long as you're blowing up the thumbnail you're gonna you're gonna keep a lot of that feeling in the final drawing so that's why and they say here sketching is is what is where the magic happens really <laughs> i'm gonna keep going through my notes because there's so many notes i feel like i'm gonna put this topic back in the bag because i'm on what am i on now i think it's about five minutes and i haven't even got one page in here <laughs> design principles four main principles balance unity emphasis and space division now i once went to a art class and the teacher said something which stuck with me ever since and she she was talking about composition and she created this character called mr bevup which is m r for mr b e v u p and when you're thinking about composition you want to be thinking about these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things, which is so M is for movement, R is for rhythm, B is for balance, E is for emphasis, V is for variety, U is for unity, and P is for proportions. And then unity is also like harmony and repetition, and emphasis is dominance. But when he started talking about these four principles, I immediately thought of Mr. Bevup. And that is basically just when you're, as you're composing, you, you want to be like mindful of how everything is linking together and like the rhythm of things. And this is amazing because I went to life drawing class two days ago and <laughs> my life drawing teacher, he just speaks so beautifully and he draws and paints beautifully as well. But what he said was, he said, drawing, life drawing, is like music, <laughs> which I thought was amazing. Like he's talking about how you want to capture the rhythm. You want to capture the rhythm of the body as you're doing your life drawing. And he said it, it reminds him of like music, which I think is, I just, I just, there was something about that that made me think I really like that. <laughs> but it says, it's talking about thumbnails here. Why make thumbnails? Saves time. You see the special relationships. You see the value relationships. Focus on the big picture, not details. Which is like keeping things simple. I think he said somewhere in one of these videos, keep it simple, stu <laughs> keep it simple, stupid. Which I thought was quite funny. But this is the... M if there's one thing to take away from... The whole of SVS Learn, every single course seems to be saying the same thing, which is simplify everything. Keep your shapes simple when you first start out and then add the detail later. And again, that's what thumbnails is all about, really. You're just in that tiny little square. You're just capturing the basic big shapes. And then you can look at it and see that looks you can talk well, I would look at it and think that's looking sexy. So you know, when you start adding your details underneath of it, it's going to be feeling quite sexy. And then it talks about how big is a thumbnail. And it just says keep them really small because this, if you start making them too big, you're going to be tempted to add too much details. And then it says you're at that point, you're not designing your drawing. So this is the thing with the first phase of creating a composition you're not drawing you're just designing and, and that's why I love it because it, you can't do it wrong <laughs> it's amazing you can't you can't do it wrong because you're, you're drawing you're not, you're not drawing you're designing so <laughs> I think that's it's one of the most fun things to do and I could quite easily see me just spending like mm, you've got to be careful actually because you could spend too much time designing but I think it says here 
make sure you spend enough exploration time on these thumbnails as they will be the soul of your finished work forever. <laughs> so actually, I, I don't think you could spend too much time on a thumbnail. Because sometimes what I've noticed is, because on my little affirmations, I've, I was doing this thumbnailing thing without really realising it. But what I would do is I would do, say, five thumbnails and then I'd pick one. But what they talk about in this course is, you know, five isn't enough. It goes, it goes back a bit to what Lee Hammond said about hair. When you're drawing hair... Oh, I want to keep talking. <laughs> That's the end of it. I've started, so I'll finish. <laughs> Who said that? Somebody said that, used to say that. But she said, when you're drawing hair, when you think you're halfway there, you're not even finished. No, when you think you're finished, you're not even halfway there. I think that was the same with thumbnailing. You, you do a page of thumbnails, but you you think you've done enough thumbnails, but you probably haven't. And in this video, they even said it's sometimes it's the last one you do that become the the last one when you're just almost being stupid. Because if if you what I've noticed with these thumbnails, if if you're thinking too much, it's when you stop thinking about what you're doing and just play around. You have to play. That's, a f that's how I'm going to end it. <laughs> so this one with creative composition, I think what I learnt was the, the designing phase, especially with thumbnails, it's all about playing and, like he said, uh, exploration and discovery. But I'm definitely going to put this one back into the bag because there is just so much more I could talk about with this course. I didn't even get into talking about, like... Um, bringing it all together and stuff like that so there's just so much to talk about with this one but rules are rules and the time is up so it's that's the end of this episode <laughs> episode 53 of the sophie art podcast you can find show notes and everything at sophielawson.com and i will link to this course in the show notes because it is they also they did another course so they did a they did a creative composition 2.0 which i haven't started yet because i thought i don't want to start it straight away i'd rather leave a year or something and it might be quite fun to go because that one is i think it is 2.0 it's like the first course but they've structured it and added more stuff to it so i think it will be good to go back to this creative composition like every maybe six months or something just to recap and I think basically that is it so you can find show notes at sophielawson.com this video will be up on youtube at youtube.com slash sophielawson all that's left is this week's inspirational quote and what I'm going to I thought what I might do in the future is fill this bowl up with quotes so at the end when I hit the gong I'll just randomly pull out a quote so I'm gonna I won't even know what the quote is but I didn't have time this this time to do it so what I've done is I've picked a quote which I think is a beautiful one for this episode because this episode is it's the start of me trying to be more spontaneous because <laughs> I think it's a really important skill and so the quote is from John McLaughlin John, John McLaughlin and it is only in spontaneity can we be who we truly are John McLaughlin oh,